Hey, I heard you were offered a job. That's great. Thanks. Is it hourly, salary, or commission based? It's. Um. What? You know, how you're being paid. Well. I'm not sure, actually. You know that not all jobs are paid the same way, right? Hourly wages, tips, salaries, and commissions are just a few ways you can earn money in the 90,000 hours you may be working in a lifetime. Wow. That's a lot of time and potentially a lot of jobs. So let's learn about the various ways you can earn that money. Okay, can you give me an example? The first form of income is hourly, which represents more than half of U.S. workers, including jobs in retail, Welcome. construction, and even... Order up! Even hot dog flipping. Which means I get paid every hour I work. For example, if your rate is $7.25 per hour, the current federal minimum wage in 2023, and you work 40 hours a week, your gross pay would be $290 per week. Any time worked beyond 40 hours is called overtime, which is usually compensated at one and a half times the regular rate. Nice. So if you work 45 hours, you'll be paid $10.87 per hour for those additional five hours. Sometimes there's even holiday pay when you have to work on a holiday, and it's typically double your hourly rate or more. Interesting. What's another way? Tip income is when a person earns a large part of their income in the form of tips on top of their hourly wage. The hourly rate for these jobs is usually much lower than the federal minimum wage, but it's made up with tips, which are paid directly from the customer to the person providing a good or service, including taxi drivers, barbers, and... Your hot dog special, sir. Yup, waiters. Enjoy. There are no rules for tipping, but most people give at least 15 to 20% of the total cost of their purchase. Because of this variation, a person could sometimes make more on a tipped wage than if they were strictly on an hourly wage. Oh. I've heard my parents talk about a salary. What's that? A salary is another very common way people are paid. It's expressed as an annual amount, like $30,000 per year. A salaried employee's pay per month is determined by taking the annual salary and dividing it by 12. Although they don't get paid for every hour worked, they're usually offered perks like paid vacation leave, paid holidays, health insurance, and retirement accounts. Nice! Any others? Certain workers earn a commission-based income. It's a type of income based on a percentage of the value of goods or services sold. This category includes realtors, sales reps, and... Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs for sale! Sure! Sometimes even hot dog vendors. That means the more product I sell, the more money I make. For example, let's say you're a hot dog vendor who earns a 10% commission on your total sales, and one week you sold $10,000 of product. That means you earned $1,000 in commission. There's potentially a lot of money you can make being commission-based, but you could also make much less than you'd like since your success at selling products can change suddenly due to all kinds of factors. Bummer. Fortunately, some commission jobs offer a salary in addition to any commission income earned. Besides overtime pay, employees often have opportunities to earn extra income. For example, you can earn extra money in the form of a bonus for achieving specific goals, or a stipend for performing tasks beyond your regular job description. Plus, many jobs offer other forms of compensation that have monetary value, such as benefits like insurance premium assistance, retirement match programs, paid time off, stock options that allow employees to buy shares of their company at a discounted rate, and allowances that cover work-related expenses like food, clothes, travel, or equipment. Your base wage or salary, plus any additional income like bonuses, tips, stipends, or commissions, and other forms of compensation like benefits and other allowances, is called total compensation. Now that you know about various forms of income, it's time to consider a few things before you accept that job offer. One, no matter how you choose to get paid, consider how it will affect your budget and your cash flow. Different jobs have different considerations, including hours, benefits, and possible earnings. Clearly understand how you will be paid and your total compensation. Two, ask if there are ways you can earn income beyond your base pay. Lots of companies offer their employees ways to earn extra income for performing well and going beyond what's required. And three, determine if your potential employer offers any other forms of compensation or perks. 
The value of things like paid vacation leave, health insurance benefits, food and clothing allowances, and stock options add up fast and can quickly beef up your total compensation. Understanding how you're paid is just as important as how much you get paid. Having this knowledge will help you maximize your compensation for all of your hard work. No problem, Mr. Otto. I can totally sell that many hot dogs. Watch more at PragerUKids.com. And parents, don't forget to subscribe.